Good morning guys and welcome to my tutorial on running two or more WordPress sites on my Apache localhost. So keep in mind you can run as many WordPress sites as you want on localhost but you need to keep downloading WordPress each time. But you only need to download XAMPP just once and if you don't have XAMPP look at the link below because it will teach you how to download XAMPP for a Mac but if you have a PC I apologize but I'm sure that there's probably tons of videos on YouTube on how to download XAMPP for a PC. So assuming that we have XAMPP already downloaded, go ahead and turn it on. And Mine already is turned on. Do not worry about FTP right now. And let's go to our localhost because I need to get to PHP my admin to create databases for WordPress. So just go to localhost, type in localhost, not www localhost, just localhost. Go down to XAMPP and PHP is the MySQL admin application that we're looking for and let's go ahead and create a new database. Now we'll just call this one, just the number one. Let's go create and let's go back home right there and let's go ahead and create another database and we'll call it two. Okay, so we just created two databases, one and two. Now let's go ahead and download WordPress. So just go to wordpress.org. Make sure it's org because wordpress.org is uh, a lot different than WordPress.com. And let's download the latest version of WordPress. You could either click here or right there. It doesn't matter. It's going to take you to the same link. And it should. I'm on Google Chrome, so it should start downloading. Oh, download right there. Okay, so I see a pop up here on the bottom left side. Should I pause this video? Nope, because it downloaded quick enough. And let's grab. Let it unzip, just keep clicking on it, and where are my downloads? Downloads? There it is. Okay. I download WordPress probably like five times a day. There it is. Okay, so I'm going to grab it, just this folder up here, and I'm going to pull it over to my desktop. And I'll just rename it WordPress 1. So just click on it once or right-click on it to rename it WP1. Okay, so now let's go ahead and download another version of WordPress. So just go back to WordPress.org, click download. Here's our second WordPress site that we're going to create on our local computer. Where's my downloads? It keeps hiding back here. And give it a second. Almost done downloading. Unzip that file. There it is. Nope. I'll just pull it out here and then I'll rename it. Okay, and I'll just title this WP2. And you can call this whatever you want. You could call it your business name, your company na name, the website you plan on building, your middle name. It does not matter as long as you can remember it. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, since I already downloaded XAMPP and now I'm in my applications or programs if you're on a PC, and I got XAMPP right down here at the bottom because it goes in alphabetical order, and I've got my shortcut right here to my htdocs. And I'm going to put two, I'm going to put both of my authenticate. It's going to ask for you for a password or some form of security. Maybe. Depends what kind of settings you have on. Same thing. Business as usual. Okay, so what I want to do now is I want to open up, or you can just click on it. And the file that I'm looking for is my wp-config-sample. Let's go ahead and open this up with a text editor text editor of any choice. Yes, I want to open it. I understand it's a script. And our database that we named it here, we just called it 1. Our username was root. And we did not create a password because it's impossible for somebody to log into my computer, so I'm not worried about it. And we're going to go ahead and file save as because we're going to change the file name from this to just that wp hyphen config dot php and it popped up right there okay perfect so now let's go back to our wp2 let's do the exact same thing let's open it up with a we'll just double click on it but we'll open up the same file with a text editor and I love TextMate so I'm going to keep rolling with it and this database name was two 
and again we didn't oh no our username was root and we did not have a password and we're gonna have to do the same thing with file save as and we'll go ahead and call this same exact thing as before wp hyphen config let's save that okay so now let's test to see if our databases have been configured so in this tab I will type localhost forward slash WP1. All right, if you've made it this far, then you guys are golden because it would have, if our database wasn't configured properly, it would have shot us back in air saying, I don't know, they couldn't connect to our database or whatnot. And now let's try our second site, which was localhost forward slash WP2. And perfect. All right, they both work. So keep in mind, you can have as many WordPress downloads as you want on your local host. Just go ahead and put them back in your htdocs folder, create the data, okay, from the top, create a database for them on phpMyAdmin. And uh, just keep downloading as many WordPresses as you want, and you can rename them, you can keep, you can call them just WordPress or WordPress 2 or, again, anything you want. And uh, change the wp-config-sample file to what we just did or whatever you named it on your uh, database which was uh, which, which which was one and two for us and uh, yeah just keep in mind that you can have as many WordPress downloads or websites on your local host as you want and you just need to keep downloading it and just keep in mind that you only need to download XAMPP once alright guys well thanks for watching hopefully this made sense and maybe I'll see you guys in another video